Say hey, Grandma. Hey. Y'all know we're always together. Kyra Trice and her grandmother, Michelle Fleming, or Gram Gram, as she affectionately called her. She helped me through any and everything, literally any and everything from the day I was born. Have been joined at the hip for the last 19 years. Mom Chanel completed the trio. Her smile just, it lit up a room. Fleming's daughter says you'd never see the 64-year-old upset. She was always joyously moving, whether it was on the dance floor or at work the last 11 years as a claims technician at the Virginia Employment Commission's downtown Richmond headquarters, where she sat just a few desks away from her granddaughter. She was that one that lit up the entire office just by saying good morning and just smiling. She was always eager to help any and everybody the best way she could. As far as uh, unemployment at the VEC, uh, we understand it's unprecedented demand. So when the COVID-19 pandemic led to a record number of unemployment claims, it was no surprise to Fleming's family that she offered to take on more hours. She was extremely dedicated. And I know it's frustrating for some people because, you know, they can't get through with their benefits. She had some, some customers that would curse her out. But again, she still handled it, still was there every single day. Those long days inside this building caught up with her on June 29th, but it had nothing to do with her workload. She was coughing. And everything to do with what her family said led to it. Kyra noticed her grandmother wasn't herself that day. Took her temperature, it was 101.9. I was like, that's it, go on to the hospital so you can get tested. Fleming would test positive for COVID-19. She was sent home to recover. When she was diagnosed, she started off with very mild symptoms. And over the course of like a week, it just attacked her really aggressively. Her case, though not her name, made headlines as she was the fourth VEC employee to test positive in three months and led to the entire building being shut down for a thorough cleaning just as the VEC states they did with the previous cases. And then about a week before my grandma was diagnosed, we found out it was someone from our department, but they work in the basement. But that bothered me because, again, the elevators are common areas, bathrooms are common areas. Already battling diabetes and kidney disease, Fleming would return to the hospital July 3rd. She'd never return home. July 19th, 1.37 a.m., the family received a call from a nurse. They said, I'm sorry, she didn't make it. And that took everything out of me. I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. The family would be flooded with support from loved ones, friends, and Fleming's work family, all expressing their love for the colleague they considered an angel. They lost a, a dedicated employee. I just really hope that this was a big wake-up call for them. And, you know, that they've now put in things that could prevent anybody else from, or anybody else's family from going through it with them. What do you think the VEC could have done differently to protect your grandmother? That there should have been a way for my grandma and other people that are her age or older to work from home because it was never safe for her to really be there. A mask can only do so much. We're told Fleming always had her mask on at the office unless she was at her desk, which was the requirement. Kyra, who worked at the VEC briefly as a temp, also tested positive for COVID days after her grandmother, but had a mild case. A spokesperson for VEC said, quote, the Virginia Employment Commission has followed all guidelines of the Center for Disease Control and the Department of Health all precautions have been taken. Those who can do their jobs from home have been encouraged to do so. Anyone who is not feeling well has been requested to stay home or go home, end quote. Since Fleming's passing, the VEC has a nurse in the building. Working for you, Laura French, CBS 6 News. And remember, all the CBS 6 problem solvers are here to help. Just call 254-3672 or email problemsolvers at WTBR.com.